should have fought to save you. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. Mm. What's up, everyone? This is episode four of The Warrior, season one. No more talking. Let's go ahead and get into episode four. Things come through. Spin it. Still gambling. Haven't learned his lessons. Still out there spending money. I said I need a marker. What's the trouble here? Jack Damon. O'Hara. Jesus. Ended up here. You work here. Long high gold shines as bright as anyone. Yeah, 50's good. What's up? I guess it's one of his friends from the war. That's so I'm getting my bill still spending money he don't have. Sorry, fellas. Sometimes it's just not your night. You know, now might be the right time to cash up. That's right. Go home with your pockets full. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. All the money's gone. I bet you, yep. Now you're gonna have some issues. Rough night. Table's rigged. Spoken like a true gambler. Short breath spell. Easy now. Going hard. I believe they're direct descendants of Genghis Khan. You know the Mongols, right? Mm -hmm. Biggest empire in the history. Anyway, yeah. the Mongols. The emperor sends his scouts out to the Mongolian plains. And they get out there, and in the distance, they see this. They get closer to this mountain, and do you know what they find? What is that? Tell us about Bones. It. The Feng Hai had a problem. What are they supposed to do when an Irishman runs up a debt and then runs back down the hill when it comes time to pay? That's where old Damon comes in. Mm. Make an example of someone. Not even a cop escapes a fung high debt. So you're going to pay up. Standard windows, two weeks. I gave you the policeman special. After that, that's it. You're taking a trip to the White Mountain. <laughs> Fuck you, Damon. Three weeks, Bill. Got yourself in the pickle, Sergeant. Bill. Going to fix it now, brother. I don't know how he's going to do it. But like he said, he's got three weeks. What you got over there, brother? <laughs> you think that's bad? I always carry it with me. Reminds me where I've been. It's a railroad spike. You're talking to a legend, man. About 10 years ago, word spread of a giant Chinaman fighting on the Transcon circuit. There was no one he couldn't take down. They called him the Yellow Demon. My father had to see it for himself. So he traveled all the way to Utah to get a better look at this so-called demon. Oh, that's a, big, that's a big black man right there, too. Did he disappear in the water? Oh. You don't want to have to kill him, man. Oh, it was just man. another game for the bored white fucks to bet on. And the yellow demon always got that bonus. What do you mean, bought him? Like a hat. Father June owns your onion ass, just like he owns the rest of us. One of these days, you and I should go a few rounds. Oh. See what's what. Fight the yellow demon. Do I look crazy? So Bo is a bad man, too. The yellow demon. Mr. Deputy Mayor, good morning. Chief Flanagan, I know you're a busy man, so I'll get right to it. I'm trying to be at it. My point is, a man of your experience knows that from time to time, our courts, judges, our laws can fail to deliver truth as it was. As I recall, you started this conversation by saying you planned to get right to it. Violence in Chinatown is an ongoing problem. When it spills out of Chinatown, that is something we cannot tolerate. The mayor would like to send a message. 
All right, then. Where the hell is Bill? Uh, Bill had a long night. Flanders got there and stirring at the violence. Want to send a message on the mayor's behalf. Mayor don't know. He's out there practicing. We ask for killers. And this is what we get. Boy, I'm smoking something good. Ain't you? Smoking good. Yo, easy, man. That shit kicks. What's in this? It's just a kiss of molasses. Hmm. I only roll them on special occasions. Mine was worse, you know. Broke two bones in his own hand, skinning me in. So his dad keeps it at 100. And you gotta you respect know you can trust that. me, right? Gotta respect that. Why are you here? Yeah. And don't tell me it's for the chop. Guy can scrap like he doesn't need to cross the salt to get paid. The girl. I knew it. <laughs> she's so, dead. In a way, she's dead too. Yeah. He crossed the salt. She ends up dead. Now you're skinned in. Sucks for you. <laughs> Just kind of good to know someone has my back. That's the spirit. I need to know I can trust you. Uh, this shit is making me woozy. I'm gonna go walk it off. Sure. Yeah, he's not crazy. See that? No. Suppose you find yourselves in a tight spot. Bang. I came here to talk to you about the Fung Hai. Fung Hai? I need you to set a meeting. But Fung Hai. Ciao. You know, they built the Great Wall to keep out savages like the Fung Hai. So the Fung Hai is the real deal. So you can say yes and earn your fee and my gratitude, or you can say no and earn neither. I will. As soon as possible, please. Came home at dawn, beaten half to death by coolies. I already told you they fared much worse by the time it was over. Quit your bodgering. I said I am fine. Yes, you say a lot of things, Bill. You're preaching to the choir. We've spoken to the chief about doubling up on shifts, but as I'm sure you know, when it comes to budgets, the city's as tight as a fiddle string. <sighs> Can you help me with my socks? I can't. I mean, they beat you to death. I think you need to get that money. The Fang Ha seemed like they don't play. I thought Stone was on the graveyard ship first night. Double knot the laces and shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, do you have some kind of problem with me, Jacob? You've seen a lot more of the pond than you. Are you worried about her for yourself? It doesn't matter. It ends badly for all of us. Stone's just walking off again. Miss Carlson. Just stay walking and off. Where is he? God damn it. Where is he? He's in the whorehouse. San Francisco Police Department, nobody move. All right, let's go on your feet. Get the fuck out of my way. Mayor trapped in the brothel. Mr. Mayor, Sergeant. During work hours. Lee, the whores are upstairs. Keep moving, you want to find out. Yeah, you want to play? Don't do it. You want to pull a hatchet on me, do you? Hmm. That's some cold, that's cold, that's some cold shit. Nice of you to show up. What happened here? Oh, you on me. I almost pissed my fucking pants. <laughs> <laughs> I like Officer Lee. Was me Pretty good this. guy. And I'm placing you under arrest. Arrest? For what? What for? You're running a brothel. It would be better if we were friends. No? Early gift for Chinese New Year. Mm. Should we take her in too? Nah, we're gonna let her stay. Uh, I think we're done here. You think taking a little money here is the problem? Open your fucking eyes. This whole bust is the problem. So sue me if I'm getting my back scratched before they stick a fucking knife in it. Hmm. What about right and wrong? Right and wrong. Hmm. Why does a southern boy like you have to come all the way out here where nobody knows who the fuck you are to become a cop? You stay the fuck out of my business and I'll stay the fuck out of yours. 
That is a good question. Why are you there? You're not in Georgia. No, thank you, Jacob. That would be all. Why'd you send Jacob for me? Why did you come? Curious, I guess. I regretted our last meeting. I want you to know I'm not like that. I don't know. I just thought I should apologize. You said your grandfather was American. Oh. Uh, he was a sea captain. He sailed the trade routes for a tea company. My grandmother died when I was a baby, but my grandfather lived on the farm with us until he passed when I was about 13. Hmm. So he spoke English. English. No one's ever been here before you. No one's been there but you. Oh, so, uh, is it? Is it already? Is it? Is it I'm going? Honored. You should be. Is it going down already? In episode four? Why did you really come? For the same reason you asked me to. I don't know why I asked you to. I think you do. It's a problem. Well, I guess the lawyer wasn't good. I know saw the boot thing for a while. Okay. I hear you. Well, son, enjoy. We have great respect for what the Fung Hai have accomplished in your territory. And we have a proposition for you. I don't like that these bitches talk so much. Mm. I had a feeling that you might feel this way. Hmm. The bitches do talking. Which is why I already killed you. Bye bye. A new secession has happened. Now let's really talk. So. I understand you have a proposition. What the fuck was that? He was never going to deal. We made other arrangements. Hey. You're not telling me. Why would I tell you? I definitely would have charged more. Just to be honest. All Chinese people can find like that. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. A gang enforcer? That doesn't seem like you. I didn't have a lot of options. I got us both. You told her everything. Shit. The Blakes are one of the wealthiest families in San Francisco, and Samuel was the mayor. He always had a smile and a hard candy for me. His smile changed. It became something else. It's dirty. It stood between my family and financial ruin. You had to do what you had to do. I That's don't all. remember exactly when I made the decision, but one day I just smiled back. I sold myself the same way you did. I don't think it suits either of us. We both have something in common. They are owned by someone else. Well, it looks like we're making some progress. We've got to harden our hearts, gentlemen. You can print that. Oh, wait. Mm. Wait, hold on. Let's get a picture. Bill, McLeod, Harris and Stone, come here. Ooh. Mr. Mayor, we need to send these boys back where they came from. Well, you keep cutting off their hair, they won't be able to go back. What was that, officer? The decree of the emperor, all men are required to wear those braided cues. He doesn't mean anything by it, sir. Get in the picture, officer. Lee. Uh, no, thank you, sir. I don't really like having my picture taken. Get in the fucking picture, Lee. Everybody stand still. Chinese gang violence is spilling into white neighborhoods, sandlots full of unemployed Americans. The penny press is an easier sell, and their circulation is substantial. The Chinese assault on American values. Mm. It's all about that money. That's your headline. 
Man, it's all about that money. My song's been gone all day. Would you just get in, please? I think your real genius mm -hmm. is finding ways to screw up my life. Oh, it's good to see you, too. You joined my enemies, gotten yourself arrested. Not only are you fucking a white lady, you're fucking the mayor's wife. What are you going to do next week? Do you really think father would have wanted you to cross this hall just to get yourself killed? Prison? Oh, thanks, by the way, for getting me out. That was great. Really saved my ass. I'm sending you home. I don't want to go home. I like it here. Come with me. There is going to be a war between the tongs. And if you're on the wrong side, I won't hesitate. Oh, can't hesitate. You know, street law. He knows. I should never have let you marry Sun Yang to save me. I should have fought to save you. I'm not going to make that mistake again. Mm. Oh Ooh! There's a war about to go down and you're going to be ca caught in a crossfire. You need to go out there and make that money. Come and talk to me when you've got four kids. I thought it was five. Fuck me. I keep forgetting Ethan. He's my favorite too. I'm the only hell my mom ever raised. Well, oh, come on, man. Two. Well, let's go out with it. I guess I just wanted to apologize. Hmm. Well, this sounds promising. You're a strange bird, Lee. How's that? Most cops don't dig around in the guts of dead men. Cops start dying, you gotta look inside, see what's killing them. Yes. People aren't animals. Got, got used to it. Aren't we? You're a good kid. You're gonna be a fine cop. And I should know. I used to be one. You keep your head down. You do what you have to to survive. Do you understand? Both sides of mine. I've got an appointment. <clears throat> Going back there to play some old card. Deal me it. You know, Fitz says I can't give him more markers, Bill. The boy in his ten dollars. Here's thirty. You know, something a little bit more about Sergeant Bill. Uh, he's got a, a gambling debt that he has to pay to the phone high. The phone high, big boss is dead. They got a new leader. They're doing deals with Hassan's uh, sister's crew. The mayor's pushing more violence. Hassan got with the mayor's wife. Knew that was going to happen. Starting to build up, starting to get going. A lot of stuff happened in this episode. And I was to leave, you know, just trying to do the right thing. Just don't know. If you enjoy reaction, you know what to do. Most of all, things coming through. And um, until next one, everyone take care of one love. Peace.